How's it going everybody? Declan Bricks here and welcome back to another video. And yes, as you've seen by the title, we are going to be crash testing LEGO Speed Champions. And here are the Speed Champions here today. We have one of the new ones from the March 1st releases, the Ferrari, which is going to be cool to see. Uh, but we are going to be crash testing all of these speed champions which is going to be really really fun um so make sure to hit, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new and if you look outside it is snowing people how cool is that so on a snow day what do we do we go crash test some speed champions let's get it okay so pretty much how we are going to be crash testing these lego speed champions so here we have the mclaren elva i'm not going to show you yet but we are going to be pretty much rolling them off the stairs and seeing which one is the most durable and which one can maybe keep their driver alive, you know, uh, which one has the least amount of damage. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Think of it as like you accidentally skid off a cliff and then boom, boom, boom. Which one will be the most safe for your driver? <laughs> so let's get straight into this video. Let's do this. And I think we're going to start off with the McLaren Elva as well because it's here. Let's get it. Okay, so yes, first up we have this McLaren Elva. Really nice looking car, but it has no roof. So how is this driver gonna survive with no roof? Let's put it to the test. Here we go, so we're gonna roll it down. Okay, I'm scared, I don't wanna break it, but let's do it, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I don't know what happened there at the end, but it looked pretty durable. did oh look the driver's still in the seat he looks pretty alive as well only the bit of the ming were ming were yeah that makes sense wing mirror came off that's pretty cool it's pretty durable car that the doors come up a little bit but it's pretty fine happy days mclaren alva i'd give that a solid nine out of ten okay so next up we have the new release on march 1st the, Mc the McLaren, the Ferrari 812 Competitor Zone. Look at them exhaust in the back. Really cool. Really nice car. I really wanted to pick this up when it first came out. So, yeah, let's get it down them stairs. Okay, so here we go. In three, two, one, go. Oh, no. That did not look good. It went into the bucket. Oh, dear. There's pieces everywhere. Oh my goodness. Look at the damage we've got, people. Half of its back wings come off. It's in pieces. It is in absolute pieces. The front bonnet's come off. The driver does look okay, though. The driver looks pretty, pretty nice. But, oh no. The Ferrari is a very fragile car. Very fragile. Some of it's... Oh dear, it's all come off. Not a very good run for the Ferrari competitor zone. Very fragile car. I give that a 3 out of 10. Not good at all. Okay, so next up we have Dominic Toretto in his Dodge Charger. Now, can this little piece of beauty survive the crash test down the stairs? Let's have a little see. Let's get going with it. I don't know about this one. This one's a bit of a rough car, to be honest. It's a bit of a square car so let's see how it does in three two one oh it's roof's already come off oh my goodness a lot of things came off at the start but it's on its roof oh dear that's a big crash for dominic he's upside down he's probably not gonna survive Oh dear, his roof came off as well. To be fair though, I'm pretty sure it's only his roof and something else. Oh, here we go. Like his back lights, I think. Yeah, not too bad, but he did do a lot of flips. So, you know, he came out pretty unscathed there. The 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 glass at the front, the... What do you call that? I, feel like, I forgot. <laughs> um, it's a bit damaged, but you know, it's not too bad. A bit wonked. Not too bad. I'd probably give that a solid 7 out of 10. Not too bad. Okay, so next up we have this Aston Martin Racing Vantage GT3. 
A really, really nice looking car. Really, really nice. Let's see how this gets on. Going down the stairs of death. Let's get it. Okay, so here we go in three, two, one. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. We almost just took out the camera at the bottom. Few pieces came off here. Quite a few pieces came off out of the first bounces. I don't know what that is. I don't know what all these are. I know that's a back wing. Uh, but let's have a look at the damage on the car. We almost took out the camera, the slow mo camera. Let's have a look. Oh, it's back wings. It's a back bumpers. The back end of this car is not very durable. The front end is though. And the driver looks pretty unscathed there, uh, but not very good on the back end. Uh, so I'll give this an eight out of 10. Uh, because yeah, it's pretty pretty unscathed. Just back end is not looking nice. <laughs> okay, so next up is the Toyota Supra Mark V, my favorite car in the world. I love this bad boy. It looks absolutely amazing. So yeah, I'm hoping this as well because I don't want this damaged. But let's get it. Let's send it straight down the stairs of death. Watch out, camera. Are you ready? In three, two, one, go. Oh no! That was some big crashes right there! Oh my goodness, there's pieces everywhere! We've got a piece there, piece there, piece there, piece there. Let's see the damage. The roof's come off. The driver! Where's the driver? Did we even have a driver in? I can't remember. <laughs> but. Oh no, that's gonna have to be pretty much the same as the Ferrari. Like, it's got no exhaust anymore. The back end's come off. <laughs> the roof's come off. The wing, the front wing screen is off as well. Just a little bit of damage on the front bumper as well. Oh dear, not looking very good. The wing is a bit damaged as well. Gonna have to be a two out of 10. I'm sorry, Mark V. Oh no, not a good run by the Mark V Supra. Okay, so next up we have this old car, the Lamborghini Countach with Mr. Skeleton Man in. So he's already dead, so it's okay. He's he's not bothered about going down this stairs of death. Let's see how this bad boy does. I don't know about this one. Really nice car though, isn't it? Right, let's get it down them stairs. Come on. Okay, so here we go in three, two, one, go. Oh, oh that looked like a bad one. Big chunks of the car came off there. Big chunks. Look at that front end. It's off. And I don't even know what part. Of it. I think that's a back bumper. Oh, dear. Let's take a look at this. Oh, no. It's not looking good at all. It's on its side. Skeleton man. It's like sat sideways. That's not how you're meant to be signing a car. The front bumpers. The front. Yeah, the front hoods come off. Oh, that is. The wings come off. That is a disgrace. That was not very good. That's a 2 out of 10 again for the Lamborghini Countach. Skeleton Man's dead. <laughs> not good at all. Oh dear. Let's fix this bad boy up. Okay, so next up we have this Aston Martin Valkyrie. And now this is a very long car compared to the other Speed Champions. So yeah, this is, might be a different outcome, but it might be the same. It looks a quite fragile, but quite a solid car. So let's let's send it down. The stairs of death. Here we go, people. Are you ready? In three, two, one, go. <laughs> that looks solid. That looks absolutely solid. What a car. You think a hypercar on this day? Look at that. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. Perfect condition. 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10. Driver's loving it. Driver's like, let's do that again. Look at that. Solid as a rock. <laughs> awesome by the Aston Martin Valkyrie. What a car. 10 out of 10. Okay, so next up we have this Koenigsegg Jesko. One of my favorite speed champions that I've got because it just looks really nice. It was a really good build as well with the little Swedish flags there as well. So let's see how this does. I don't know whether it's going to be the Aston Martin Valkyrie on that turn, but let's see. Look at that exhaust. Lovely. Okay, so here we go in three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, that last landing. 
<laughs> like a heavy hit. Oh, it did look like a heavy hit. The driver's come out. No, the driver's dead. Oh, he flew out. Look at the state of that. It's a big crash right there. The front wing mirrors come out. The back spoiler and some other parts of it. Look at that. That's an image right there. Let's get the driver in. He's dead. Image. <laughs> Gonna have to give it like a... Uh, three out of... No, a two out of ten because the driver's just fully dead. Driver's gone. Two out of ten for the Conan's and Jesco. Disappointing. Okay, so next up we have this nice, lovely, old, vintage Aston Martin DB5 with James Bond inside. Let's see how this special, special car takes on the stairs of death. Let's do it. So here we go then. In three, two, one. Oh my goodness, it went straight into the radiator. That did not look good at all for the D5. Oh, dear me. Oh, no. James Bond, he is fully dead. He can't survive everything. Oh, my goodness. James Bond, he is gone. He's a goner. Oh, my goodness. That is a, that's a zero out of ten for the Aston Martin DB5, in my opinion. It is just in shreds. He is dead. Oh, dear. Zero out of ten. Let's try and fix this bad boy up. <laughs> All right, so we're on to the last final car. It is the Nissan Skyline R34. Doc's here to come witness. Excuse me, mate. <laughs> this monstrosity. Now, this is one of my favourite cars as well from the Speed Champions sets. Absolutely magnificent with Paul Walker inside. So let's see how this does. I'm scared for this one. Excuse me. Can you... Look at that. You got your paw stuck. There you go. You ready, Doc? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's send it down the stairs of death. Are we sending? No, we won't send you. <laughs> okay, so in three, two, one. Paul Walker's gonna fly again. Oh! <laughs> Into the window, Doc. Did you see that? That was mental. Let's go see the damage. Into the window. We're gonna smash the window. To be fair, he's done a great job on the last run there. He's only lost his roof and his back wing. Not too shabby at all. We'll give that a solid 8 out of 10. What do you think, Doc? 8 out of 10? He loves it. 8 out of 10 for the last car. So there we have it. We crash test all of my LEGO Speed Champions there. It was great fun. We had a few good ones and a few not so good ones. A few broken ones, you know what I mean? So it's just different durability for each car. It shows that each of the designs of the Speed Champions is different. So it's, it is quite cool. So yeah, I got some in slow-mo there as well. They were cool. Some cool footage there in the slow motion. So yes. Uh, but yeah, I hope you did enjoy this video. I enjoyed making it. It was good fun chucking them down the stairs. Uh, but the rebuild process was quite difficult in parts. But we, we got them rebuilt. Um, so yeah, please hit that thumbs up button if you can. Really appreciate it and subscribe if you are new. And now we'll see you all later. And Hudson says goodbye. So see you all later.